Are you guys ready for the dragon? dragon I meant like a little dragon you know like a Komodo today we're talking about the red Komodo cinema camera a little mini review for you guys just wanted to talk about a few things that I really love about this camera the image coming out of this camera is in a word cinematic now a little disclaimer I don't have a ton of experience working with cinema cameras but I have worked with a few on a number of shoots uh, namely the Blackmagic Ursa Mini uh, 4.6K, um, the Sony FX9, Sony FX6, and um, maybe one of the Canon cameras. In any case, the number one thing that I love about this camera is the image coming out of it. The color, the color science, I guess the red color science. Um, this is my first introduction to the world of red, and uh, I gotta say, their color science is second to none. From what I've worked with, from what I've seen, it's second to none. Um, Blackmagic has great color science, no doubt about it, but I actually prefer um, the color science uh, in the Komodo. Now, the thing about the image coming out of this camera, it's got a ton of dynamic range, it's a 6K Super 35 sensor, but you know, I guess the one word that really comes to mind when I think about the image coming out of this camera is presence. Like you really just feel like you are there in that space, in that world that the camera is capturing. And it's that presence that for me is, you know, it kind of gives that true cinematic look. Now, of course, um, when we're talking about a cinematic look, it's not just about the camera technology itself. Uh, you know, most importantly, the lighting, uh, the framing, uh, the type of lens that you're using, uh, how much dynamic range is in the sensor, you know, that uh, range from the dark areas to the light areas. Um, all that is, you know, really, really important. Um, but, you know, the image quality, the colors are just... And grading it is so easy, so intuitive. Uh, I'm using Adobe Premiere. You know, you know, some of you guys are working with uh, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, but it's gonna be a similar experience in those programs as well. Uh, you just have a lot of uh, range to work with since you're working with a raw image. But, uh, you know, it's not like a pure raw image, like full of noise. Uh, it does have a little bit of noise suppression, noise reduction, which I actually like. Uh, working with fully noisy raw imagery is kind of a pain. The resolution, I think, is just perfect um, for what I'm working with, the types of shoots that I'm on, type of productions that I'm on. 6K is more than enough pixels. It gives me some room to work with when I'm outputting in 4K. A little bit of wiggle room is what I need. Um, but not too much. I don't need too much. I'm not really at that, you know, the need for 8K uh, yet. So 6K is kind of the, the perfect happy medium there. You know, I've noticed, uh, and similarly with the FX9, which uh, has a 6K sensor, even though it downscales it to 4K, if you do the same with a 6K image, 6K recording coming out of the Komodo, scale it down to 4K, you get just that extra crispness, that extra sharpness, and uh, you know the grain becomes finer, and I feel like that lends to the cinematic image as well. The size and form factor of this camera, that little cube, it's like a little Komodo dragon living inside of a cube, is just, ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's, you know, you can run and gun with it, um, you can rig it out, it's got a good number of mounting points built in, but you can throw uh, a rig on there and you know, rig it out to have more mounting points and you know, 
throw handles and whatnot on there. Um, red has a lot of good accessories. I personally love the Outrigger handle, which is just, it's a good, nice, uh, solid grip uh, and good for run and gunning. And the fact that you can, you know, there's a record button on it too, which is nice. And lastly, uh, I'll give a shout out to the uh, global shutter that's in the camera, which just helps with that. You know, when you're doing fast movement um, during you know, run and gun shoots, and, and you, you don't want that uh, jello-y, wiggly uh, kind of you know, look that you get with rolling shutter sensors. But this one is uh, it's a global shutter, so it really just doesn't give you that, that jello, that wiggle. All right, guys, so that's it. That's going to wrap up my little mini review of the Red Komodo. I don't actually own the camera yet. I've got it on back order. It's been about a month and a half now. Uh, I'm dying, dying for this thing, you guys. Uh, if anybody uh, has gotten one recently, let me know. How long did you have to wait for it? Where'd you get it from? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, subscribe and like this video. Let me know how I can make these videos even better. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Adios.